coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next Java Made Easy tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to be learning about encapsulation. So for those of you who have, uh, have, came, have come from other object oriented programming languages might be wondering why I'm devoting a whole tutorial on encapsulation and it's because encapsulation is often glossed over but it is a very important part of object oriented programming. Now what encapsulation allows you to do is to determine who can access what and who can't access what. That's basically a broad spectrum of spectrum of what um, encapsulation actually is. So it allows you, lets you know um, if, if a variable can be accessed outside of the class or if a method can be ac accessed outside of a class or which part of sorry sorry about that which part of a variable can be accessed if you can only get the value of a, a variable or only if you can set a value for a variable and yada 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 and it sounds fairly simple but and, and it is a relatively simple topic but it's often glossed over because people don't really see the importance of it and I want to show you guys the importance of it uh, right now so let's say for example I have let's let's put our health variable back again. Now, I have I have health by default to 100, right? That's usually when you start a game, your health is at 100. Now, if I keep it as default, default a default variable. Uh, whenever you don't define something, whenever you don't define say public or private or protected or something it is considered default so we've been using default variables right now and default variables can be accessed within the class or within any of the classes within the same package as you so as you can see they're in the same package we'll learn about packages a bit later but as you can see whenever we create our player instance we can change it we can set it equal to whatever we can set it to negative 10 if we wanted to and yada 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 and this is bad because Let's say, for example, we work on a team, working with a with a group of guys, and and health is a critical variable to a game. Let's just pretend this is a super critical, uh, super critical area to the game. And so, you, um, I created I created the enemy class, and you created the player class, and you give me the player class. You've given me the player class, and I'm like, you know what? Let me play around with this health variable, and I set player health to negative ten, and then our program crashes or whatever. Our program crashes because you allowed me to modify this variable. Say this variable was something that couldn't be modified at all. Say it was only to be used within a player class. How do we restrict it so that nobody else can utilize this variable unless they're working with the player class? We do it by setting a modifier, an, an access modifier. And we're gonna set this access modifier to private. So private says that you can only work with or modify this variable inside that class and you can't work with it anywhere outside that class. So as you can see it says change visibility of health to default because it doesn't you can't modify health. Now notice I want to show you something. So if we get rid of this private right here, and say this. When we say player and we just put dot as you can see we see health right there that means we can actually utilize it now let's go right here and let's put private right there all of a sudden we don't see health anywhere so it notifies you that we cannot utilize health but health is is important is an important part of a game right let's say we want to actually get the health to analyze if something has has occurred right uh, we want to say okay if the we want to get the value of health and we want to say if your health is equal to zero then you're dead or something like that well we can we can set we can set methods so that we can actually let the user know that they can get the data but they can't modify the data outside the player class and it's a good indicator to let you know and to let others know that it should not be tampered with outside the class you shouldn't tamper with the value but if you want to get the value, that is okay. And how are we going to do this? So we're going to say public, and what public means is that it can be accessed anywhere. It can be accessed in other packages, other classes, yada yada yada. So we're going to say public int, and we're going to say get health. And all we're going to do is we're going to return the health variable. So just with this method, this public method right here, 
we're able to get the value of health whatever health is we're going to be able to get that value but we're not going to be able to actually modify health and with that we've just determined how you can access different variables without the player class so now even if you write your code and you come back to it five ten years later even months later you know that you're not supposed to modify health anywhere outside the player class and Java won't even let you do it as you can see they won't let you so now let's just do system dot out print line and let's say player and as we can see get health is there is public and so we can get the health but we can't set it so let's say for example uh, we want to be able to we have a variable like health and we want other classes to be able to set health and we want them to be able to get health well the simple thing to like the simple solution would be to make it public right you say why not make it public it doesn't matter whether they modify it or yada 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 or it doesn't matter if they change it that's fine it's not really gonna affect the the, the program itself but this isn't the best way to go about it and I'll show you the reason why so if we set health we we set the health as private and let's say we have a set method so we say set health we give it a value and we say health is equal to value and then we have our get health and we return health so you might be saying okay we just made two methods we just made our program longer by setting a value and returning a value what's the point what's the point of this might as well just make it public and we get it over with well in some instances yeah you would you, you would make it public and get it over with but the reason why it's a good idea to have get and set methods is simply because you can you can do more than one thing when you're actually setting a value so let's, let's take this for a spin now okay so we know that if we set a value let's just say that if we set health to a negative value something can go wrong well if I say player dot set health let me see set health we could set this value to anything we want and it's gonna set health to that value but as you can see I've set it to a negative value and all of a sudden our program is gonna crash quote unquote because health is a negative value and health can't be a negative value health needs to be a positive value so what are we gonna do well if health was public there's nothing we really could do if we just said public player health is equal to negative 10 then the program would just crash but in our set health method now we can do a few checks we could say if health is less than zero then set health equal to zero and voila so when we're just setting a value set methods aren't just used or utilized just to set a value get methods aren't just used just to get a value you can do multiple things before you actually get a value or you can do multiple things before you set a value and that's why it's always a good thing or in most cases it's a good thing to have set and get methods because let's say for example you made a huge program you made a huge game and you just decided you're like you know what I'm just gonna be lazy I don't want to make set or get methods I'm just gonna make health public so you make health public and you call you call player dot health throughout your program say you call it a hundred different times throughout your program and you make it so that you could set it to whatever value you want then you realize that oops man if they set it to a wrong value then there's problems right so if a user sets it to a negative value there's problems I want to avoid those problems so what are you going to have to do every single place that they said player health is equal to negative 10 you're going to have to say if player dot health is less than zero player dot health is equal to zero and if you've called this a hundred different times then you're gonna be like oh my gosh we're gonna have to do this a hundred different times but the solution to this problem you could have solved the solution if you just had player dot set health player dot set health and you had it to whatever value you wanted to and you realize that this was a problem all you have to do is just go to your set health method and just modify it and just say okay so you would just say to yourself okay this is not working this is not working at all so we got to do some error checking so simple we've called set health a hundred different times oh who cares we're just gonna say if health is less than value then health 
equals or sorry if value is less than zero that's what I should be checking for then you say value equals to zero and you set health equals value and voila even though you made a mistake and you called it a hundred different times because they called set health then it changes throughout the whole program and so you don't have to worry and modify each single variable a hundred different times and that's why set and get methods are very valuable and that's why encapsulation is very valuable as well and we'll be looking uh, more into encapsulation into the future but it is important that you hide variables that are not needed outside the class usually nine times out of ten whenever I create a variable I will create it as a private variable unless unless you have a specific reason and a good reason to make it public it should be private and you should have set and get methods if you want to access it outside of a class but anyways that's it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to comment rate, and subscribe don't forget to like on Facebook don't forget to follow on Twitter and don't forget to sign up for my website and last but not least don't it might not everything might not make sense right away but it takes practice practice makes perfect once you practice or once you start designing larger programs and yada 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 you'll start to understand the importance of encapsulation so keep practicing and i hope you enjoyed it so that's it and bye for now